Yo, so my people, it's Henry Crackhouse once again. Um, I'm here to continue where I stopped last time. You know, I'm here to continue from the previous video where I talked, I spoke on um, on ATP and mitochondria and um, insulin. Within these three things getting common, why these three things they contribute in making you sick? And um, you know, I'm still gonna speak and narrate this video in pidgin english too because i want everyone to understand and don't be say we go begin talk say we don't understand but before i do that you know say there is no how there is no how where your house could be on fire and it, it, instead of you trying to quench to put out the fire at home in your own house you will be trying to go out and build another house for someone else but in your house the, but your house is on fire so let's put that mitochondria, that health thing on hold right now and talk about Nigeria. I'm a Nigerian. I love Nigeria. Never trade or give Nigeria up for nothing. Yeah, and um, you know, the elections in Nigeria has come and gone. Someone has been selected as the winner. And um, some people are threatening to take INEC to court. Funny part is which court? We? You mean the court in Nigeria? Come on, people. Come on, man. Let's stop fooling ourselves, man. Let's stop fooling ourselves, man. Didn't Atiku take a, take a, a, a I neck to court in 2019? Is Buhari just not about to end his tenure in May? Uh, just cause, come on, Nigerians. Let, let, let's stop doing this to our younger generation, man. Let's stop fooling ourselves, man. See, the same P, PDP and LP and NNPP who were at each other's neck, like, a few weeks ago, now they are all teaming up to take INEC to court. Come on, people. Come on, people. Come on, people. Come on, man. Let's play this game the way it ought to be played, man. I'm serious. May we play this game the way where this game is supposed to be played. Yes, so survival of the fittest. Winner takes all. <laughs> see, eh? see, stop deceiving Nigerians, man. Stop playing with Nigerians, man. This now waiting to piss me off. Stop fucking playing with Nigerians. Stop playing with Nigerian youths, man. You guys are all the same, man. You guys are fuck the same, man. Stop playing with Nigerian youths. You're playing with people's lives, man. A, a few weeks to the election, the, the Naira was redesigned. Why? And Nigerians were too, yeah, we are re re redesigning this Naira to prevent vote buying. Come on, man. Stop with the bullshit, man. Stop with the bullshit. I didn't say nothing. Did I make a video about... Did I talk about this? No. I did not say nothing. I was just washing, keeping quiet. I kept quiet and was only washing. See, I'm a Pan-Africanist. I believe only Africans, only the people, only Africans can save Africa. Only Nigerians can save Nigerians. See, you, you don't... Come on, man. I live overseas, man. I live abroad, man. I don't see things we be saying. If I tell you guys things that I see, if I come home, people, look, it takes it takes a lot for you to be enlightened to wake the fuck up while living abroad. It takes a lot for you not to sell out while living abroad, man. So some of these people who have lived abroad, some of these people who are dual citizens somewhere, they'll be coming over to Nigeria, telling you they are coming to contest, to save Nigeria, to change. Come on, man, stop with the bullshit. Stop with the fucking bullshit, man. Stop with the fucking bullshit. Stop with the fucking bullshit. I, I, I never believe in any of those them movements, man. They, they are all the fucking same. Now they are all trying to come together to take INEC to court. What? Why? For what? LP is claiming they won the election. PDP is claiming they won the election. Okay, what? Say they go to court and INEC says, okay, okay, we made a mistake. Bola did not win. Okay, we make a uh, we made a mistake. Okay, now we are gonna nullify the the, the, the election. What is gonna happen then? Whom are they gonna declare as the winner between LP and PDP? Stop with the bullshit, people. Stop playing with Nigerians. I'm telling you, stop playing with Nigerians because Nigerians are sweet people. Nigerians are beautiful people. Nigerians are talented, intelligent people. Stop fucking taking their smartness, their intelligence for granted, man. 
you deceive Nigerians into going out. A lot of Nigerians, the Nigerians who have never voted in their life, they applied for the for, for, for this uh, P, P, PVC. They applied for PVC. They were given PVC. They were promised fair and uh, transparent, fair and free election. A lot of Nigerians trooped out to vote because they believed they believe because the hardship is just too motherfucking much. So a lot of Nigerians believed in INEC, they believed in Buhari, they believed in Peter Obi, they believed all these things and went out to vote, to cast their vote because they wanted change. Because Nigerians want change. You knew from day one, you knew from the beginning, even the president-elect was saying it, that he, he see, stop with the bullshit. Stop fucking with Nigerians. I'm serious. He knew it. He said a Milogan. Is it a Milogan or a Milogun? He said it right from day one. He said it in his motherfucking tongue. You don't talk like that when contesting, when you're about to contest in a free and fair election. Come on, man. You don't talk like that. You beg people to come and fucking vote for you. You don't say it is my turn. So I knew all this bullshit. That's why I didn't say nothing. I didn't make, I didn't mention anything in all my videos. You didn't see me say, talk about Nigerian politics. I'm not here to say this, that, 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 to condemn anybody, but it is survival of the fittest. The winner takes all. Bola is the winner. Bola survive. Bola is the, 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 the Bola is the fittest. So stop with the bullshit. Stop with the bullshit. There was no elections. Stop with all the fucking bullshit. Stop with the... St come on, people. Stop with the bullshit. Stop playing with Nigerians. Stop fucking playing with Nigerians. Because one day, monkey go go market, you know, go come back. The hardship in Nigeria, the inflation in Nigeria is too much, man. Nigerians are fucking suffering. Nigerians are suffering. People are running away from their homeland. People, Nigerians are running away from their homeland. Stop playing with Nigerians. Nigerians are the most beautiful black people on the planet. Nigerians are the most intelligent black people on the planet. Stop playing with Nigerians. You're making Nigerians lose their fucking mind. Man. You're making Nigerians lose their fucking minds. Stop playing with Nigerians, man. Stop with the bullshit. Don't tell Nigerians that there was a free and fair elections and this other. Tell Nigerians there was a selection, period. Tell Nigerians this is the person we want to hand over power to. Stop with the bullshit. Tell Nigerians this is the person we have chosen to hand over power to. And when he's done, he has chosen this person to. Stop playing with Nigerians. Nigerians are fucking suffering. Stop with the bullshit. Stop making people laugh at us all over the world. They see us as jokes. As a bunch of ingrates. A bunch of people who don't know what to do. Who don't know how to fucking govern themselves. Stop with the bullshit. I'm serious. Stop playing with Nigerians. Stop deceiving Nigerians. Let Nigerians be. Let Nigerians be. Steal your fucking money but allow Nigerians to leave. You redesign Naira, you redesign the currency, and then you kept the currency away from the citizens. You putting the citizens in 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 in, in an unnecessary hardship. Stop with the bullshit. You're making people are dying. There is no fuel. This country is producing is what the second largest producer of crude oil in Nigeria, in Africa. Yet this same country is importing petroleum product and kerosene and all that and on top of that they're still queuing up to buy fuel stop with the bullshit stop with the fucking bullshit I, 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 I wanted to come here to talk about nutrition and all that but like i said your house don't no, no go there fire on fire why you won't go be a house for another person maybe we solve the problems where they afflict our country first and it concerns me because my children are nigerians i'm a 
pro Nigerian. I'm a patriotic Nigerian, so I go talk about this bullshit. Stop with the all. Stop with the games, Mr. Bola. When your tenure don't over, Bola Tinubu. When your tenure is about to come to an end, stop. Don't play. Don't be playing with Nigerians, man. Tell Nigerians the next point to Nigerians. The next person you appointed to hand over that you intend to hand over power to. I beg, no play with Nigerians again. Tell Nigerians say you go hand over power to this person. No tell Nigerians so there is gonna be that there will be an election conducted by INEC and it will be transmitted via beavers and blah 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 bullshit. No one has stopped that nonsense. No one has stopped to the play with Nigerians. Do your politics, play your politics, deceive each other, play, spend your money up and down, but let Nigerians them survive. Let Nigerians eat. Give Nigerians their hard-earned money. Allow Nigerians to have access to their fucking money. Allow Nigerians to have access to petrol to run their lives. Allow Nigerians to have access to basic, basic things. You haven't been able to provide Nigerians with steady electricity to balance the economy, to make the economy strong. You haven't been able to provide Nigerians with good uh, infrastructure. Let Nigerians just be. Now you're squeezing life out of Nigerians, man. Stop with the bullshit. I'm serious. Stop that bullshit. We are Africans. We are Pan-Africans. We believe in Africa. We don't believe in politics. We don't believe in continental, uh, in, uh, in a country or the country type of politics. We believe in one fucking Africa. Stop with the bullshit. Stop with the bullshit. Someone has placed you in the... Do your job. You can steal whatsoever you want to steal, but do not deny Nigeria what they've worked for. Don't deny Nigerians their money. If that Nigerians don't work for their money, they don't work, build businesses, they put money in. Do not deny Nigerians of that. You can steal your billions. You can run the country how you can run the country to the ground, but let Nigerians them survive. Stop squeezing the last breath out of Nigerians. That's not fair. That's not funny. And that's not cool. I'm serious. For real, that's not cool. Now the opposition, the, the, the all of them, they're screaming, one go cut, one go cut. Which cut? Where? For where you want carry and go cut? Where? The US. You want carry and go cut in the US. The US don't already congratulate Bonatinubu. Hmm? Britain don't already congratulate Bonatinubu. Where? France don't already congratulate Bonatinubu. And these are the these three countries. Then I didn't hold it. Then you know, then I didn't, they run Africa now. So where you want carry and go? Stop fucking with Nigerians. I'm serious. Stop playing with Nigerians. Stop playing with Nigerians. Stop playing with Nigerians. In my next video, I could talk about mitochondria and insulin, insulin resistance, and ATP. You know, make my head cool down small. You know, but congratulations anyway. They say the winner takes all. Survival of the fittest. Maybe we no deceive ourselves. Stop fucking deceiving ourselves. You don't come. You don't go. Maybe we move on. My thing be say allow Nigerians access to their money, allow Nigerians access to their way of life, to their source of in, to to their everything, everything. Stop with the bullshit. to Nigeria, which is, if not the most corrupt nation in Africa, and it is, it could be the most corrupt nation in the world, Minister Farrakhan. Oh, and now, Mr. Wallace. It is the most corrupt nation that I have ever covered. I've been there 25 years ago, and I've been there as recently as last year. Fine. So what? 35 years old. That's what that nation is. Now, here's America, 226 years old. You love democracy, but there in Africa, you're trying to force these people into a system of government that you just have accepted 30 years ago, black folk got the right to vote. You're not in any moral position to tell anybody how corrupt they are. You should be quiet. 
and let those of us who know our people go there and help them get out of that condition. But America should keep her mouth shut wherever there's a corrupt regime as much hell as America has raised on the earth. No, I will not allow America or you, Mr. Wallace, to condemn them as the most corrupt nation on earth when you have spilled the blood of human beings. Has, has Nigeria dropped an atomic bomb and killed people in, in Hiroshima and Nagasaki? Have they killed off millions of Native Americans? How dare you put yourself in that position as a moral judge? I think you should keep quiet.